Hello there YouTube and welcome along to Steve's Coronavirus Update. Um, today in this uh, video I'm going to be talking to you about Christmas. Yeah, that's right. Um, I know that we're in the, one second, I know that we're in the middle of, um, of November at the time of uh, recording this video. Um, but obviously Christmas is a big, big thing. Um, that's been spoken about this week and obviously I'm going to speak to you guys about that in a bit more detail and I've also got a little bit of more positive updates uh, to bring to you in terms of the vaccine as well which actually I'll tell you what let's talk about the vaccine first um, because there's been two well three actually three major turning points uh, for the vaccine. So the first major turning point is the fact that there is um, a vaccine in the US which has been trial tested and it is um, going to be, well it is 95% uh, ne well nearly 95% effective um, from the COVID disease, which is positive news. It's obviously been trialled and tested in the US. Uh, the UK have ordered 5 million doses of this uh, vaccine, which is called Mo Moderna. Um, and yeah, which, which is positive news. It is a positive update to bring. Um, obviously, there are going to be more trials um, being done. Um, and obviously we'll find out at a later stage as to whether or not this is going to be an approved vaccine uh, that will be used in both the US uh, and in the UK and maybe even some other countries as well. Um, so that's a major breakthrough that's happened uh, this week on the vaccine front. Uh, the other major um, breakthrough that has um, happened is the Pfizer vaccine. Now you may remember if you have watched my last coronavirus update video I brought to you the news that the Pfizer vaccine um, which has got to be around about it's got to be put under a very cold temperature of minus 70 degrees for it to to work. Um, but anyway so basically the Pfizer vaccine um, last week was announced to be 90% effective in humans from pre preventing this COVID disease. Now, this week is a new week. We, they've done obviously more um, trialled and tested um, things with this vaccine and now it has come back uh, to say that the final results of this vaccine have seemingly, uh, are seemingly there to say that um, that the vaccine is now 95% effective in humans, which is a 5% increase to what it was around about this time last week when I last did uh, one of these videos for you guys. Um, so again, positive news, um, and it has actually passed its safety checks as well. Uh, so now what's going to happen is now they are going to be putting it um, they are going to obviously put an application in place for it uh, to be um, approved. And then, who knows, by this time next month, I'm going to say, it may become available on the NHS. Again, some positive vaccination news um, for this virus. Uh, that does mean that we are one step closer to defeating this virus uh, once and for all, which it, which again is just is positive news, isn't it? It really is some um, positive news, and I think that's definitely everything that obviously we it's the news that we we all want to hear, you know. And given that earlier this year we had scientists and medical experts saying that it may take uh, eighteen months uh, to two years. Uh, for the vaccine to actually be found and to be tested and to work, uh, you know, this is a major, major breakthrough, you know, it really is a major, major breakthrough. The other third bit of good news that I've got to bring to you is actually the vaccine that's being trialled and tested here in the UK in Oxford, uh, because at the time of recording this video, it has been announced that it is more effective in older patients than it will be in younger patients. And again, 
it is good news for the older and vulnerable patients out there um, because obviously that means so really essentially we are now starting to get uh, three different vaccines up and running to defeat this virus once and for all and the more vaccines that we have you know, and the more that the UK order the quicker we will get back to normality again you know I mean, hopefully, I will not be sitting here this time next year and saying that we are still not back to normality. I'm hoping and praying that by the time we get to April 2021, I'll be able to sit here and I will be able... Well, who knows, actually. I may be somewhere else doing a coronavirus update and I'll be able to tell you that this is the last ever coronavirus update video I'll ever do. Look at me. I'm sat next to this person here. We're not social distancing because social distancing is no longer a thing. I'm not having to wear a face mask anymore. Face masks are a thing of the past. They're so 2020 at that point. Um, you know, that was 2020's fashion. Um, you know, and yeah, so... Yeah, that's 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 the hope. That's the aim. You know, that we we can only hope and pray that that by this time next year, COVID will no longer be a thing. Vaccines, they'll be out there. We'll be we'll be vaccinated. We'll go back to normality, hopefully. Um, you know, so yeah, it it does all depend. It really does all depend. Um, so obviously, we don't yet know the effectiveness of the Oxford vaccine. Uh, quite yet, uh, but that's something that's going to come up um, within the next few weeks. So, of course, do keep updated with my coronavirus updates, and I'll bring you an update on the uh, Oxford vaccine and its effectiveness, um, hopefully within the next uh, few weeks um, on my channel, Steve Official. Uh, so, as I said to you at the start of this video, I want to talk about Christmas. Now, I know that we're halfway through November at the time of recording this video um, and I know that a lot of people um, are planning or trying to uh, plan for Christmas. Now this is something that's very very difficult to do in 2020. We have had so many, um, well we've just had so many things, celebrations and stuff like that. Diwali, for example, that's not been able to go ahead this year. And that's a religious holiday. Uh, Diwali, you know, that's not been able to go ahead this year because of COVID and social distancing and stuff like that. So we're now getting on to the next religious holiday, which is for Christians, you know, out there, which is Christmas. Now, I know that Christmas... For many of us, and many people watching this right now, Christmas is a time of year where we all come together and, you know, we're there with our families. We are there with our families. We spend time with our families, you know. Um, and we just, you know, we just have a, a positive day, hopefully. You know, hopefully there's no family arguments over a turkey or anything like that at Christmas. Um, but... Yeah, um, but yeah, so so this year is a little bit different really compared to previous years because of COVID being around. We are in a pandemic um, and now there are, you know, there's now suggestions being thrown out there that we should postpone Christmas until March. Now, in my honest opinion here, right, what would I rather do? Would I... Rather, you know, have my family round for Christmas, right? Have my family round for Christmas and celebrate Christmas with them. You know, potentially putting them at risk or them putting me at risk of getting the virus. Or would I prefer for my family to come over on Christmas in March when it will probably be a bit more safer to do so. It will probably be a bit more bit more better, it, you know, we'll probably be in a better world by March, you know, if the vaccines are approved and we do start rolling them out from December. That gives us four months to then get vaccinated and then prepare for Christmas. Or, you know, I mean, to be honest with you, I think I would personally prefer to do Christmas in March next year rather than do Christmas in December. Now, I'll tell you why. I'm not Scrooge. I do like Christmas. I do love Christmas. I love putting the Christmas decorations up, right? I love the fact that, you know, you get to feast 
at Christmas. You know, you get to have all this lovely, lovely food and you fatten yourself up and stuff like that. I do love Christmas. But if it meant that obviously Christmas this year, I was putting my family at risk. I weren't, you know, I weren't able to to social distance or anything like that, then I would, uh, to be honest, personally this year, we have sacrificed so much in the year 2020. What difference is it going to make if, uh, if we all sacrifice Christmas this year or not? Is it going to make much of a difference? Not really. No, it's not going to make much of a difference, you know? Even if it meant that in the year 2021, we had two Christmases. We had Christmas in March to make up for 2020, and then we had our 2021 Christmas. If that was the case, I wouldn't mind that at all. If it meant that we were celebrating Christmas twice in one year next year, then I'm okay with that. I would, I would be okay with that. I really would. Um, you know, I mean... There, there are talks at the moment with the government. Apparently, we're supposed to find out on the 2nd of December what's going to happen with Christmas, what plans they have for Christmas for us. Um, we're supposed to find out on the day lockdown ends in the UK um, as to, um, obviously, what's going to happen uh, with Christmas and our family plans. But what is being reported at the moment in newspapers, and whether or not this is right or not, take it as a pinch of salt. Obviously, I can't confirm anything, um, but as soon as it is confirmed, I will let you guys know, so that you guys are in the know. Um, but with Christmas, on the other hand, they are talking about the government allowing us five days of no restrictions in the UK, um, we're allowed to mix in households of up to 10 people um, to celebrate Christmas with those close to us. Now, if that does happen, and I kid you not, if that really does happen, I swear to God, I will do a very, very ranty YouTube video of a coronavirus update as to why that is completely wrong. All right, I'm not going to go into it now. I don't want to go into it now, but I kid you not. If those plans are those exact plans for Christmas, for the UK to enjoy Christmas, right? I swear to God, I will do a very, very angry, ranty video as to why that is not acceptable at all, right? And, I, and this is the other thing. I will tell you another thing, right? If we do have five days from Christmas Eve up until after Christmas, five days of restriction-free England, which means there's no COVID restrictions around at all, right? There are talks as well that for every day that we have no restrictions in the UK, that's an added five days of lockdown. So if we were to have five days of no restrictions in the UK, then that means that we will then enter a 25-day lockdown in the new year. So, again, I mean, I'm not going to say anything right now about this. No. You know what? I'm going to wait until it's all confirmed. Once it's all confirmed, I will film a video. And if it's a ranty video, I apologise. I just want to get my thoughts out there on this. But, yeah, all I'm going to say is, Boris, be careful with what you're doing, because you are going to put so many people's lives at risk at Christmas. All I'm saying for now. Speaking of Boris, he has been told to self-isolate for 14 days, which he's currently doing at the moment, and he is working from home as well. Um, he's been doing uh, Prime Minister questions this week, and he'll probably be doing it next week as well um, from home. Uh, so he's been doing a virtual conference call with the people over in uh, Westminster, uh, doing uh, PMQs this week. Um, so, yeah, but the only reason being is because he came into close contact with an MP, um, and obviously... Uh, he that, that MP then tested positive uh, for COVID uh, later on. So now the Prime Minister does need to uh, self-isolate, even though he does say that he is as fit 
as a butcher's dog, as he always says. Uh, but there we go. Anyway, so that's uh, today's update for you with the coronavirus updates. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you would like to uh, leave a comment down below, maybe you've got some thoughts and opinions on some of the subjects that I've spoken about in today's YouTube video, then leave your comment down below. I'd be happy to read it. Um, and if you are new to my YouTube channel, Steve Official, welcome to Steve Official. Hit the subscribe button down below again. That would be very much appreciated. But join me for my next video and it's goodbye. Thank you for watching. See you guys in my next YouTube video.